everybody, my name is Samantha Fox and I'd like to wish all the contestants of this year's Mr Gay World competition all the luck in the world. And uh, here's my new single, Tomorrow, with me with a rock band from Sweden, Nesta. I hope you enjoy it and good luck to everybody. Mwah! Yeah!
And welcome back to the second half of Mr. Gay World 2020, which, like the Olympics, is only happening this year. My name is Elsby Zietzman, I'm one of your hosts, and my co-host is... Yours truly. Oh, Gregory, what an honor and a privilege to be here with you tonight. Now, South Africa has hosted quite a number of the Mr. Gay World events, and it's a country of splendid scenery and vast differences. Tonight, we are hosting from Rexford Manor in beautiful Neisner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, South Africans have gone through some serious struggles, but here we are, finally a rainbow nation, quite similar to the LGBTQ plus community who has also faced some serious struggles and now under a unifying rainbow flag. Now, before a delegate can enter this event, which we don't regard so much as a competition, but rather as an opportunity, he has to be crowned the Mr. Gay of his home country. They are put through some stringent tests. Oh, yeah. And the judges are really looking at much more than just physical appearance. <laughs> nudge, nudge, <laughs> wink, wink. Oh, now, those of you who are so unfortunate as to have missed the first half, um, everything is happening online and all delegates appear in country of alphabetical order. Yeah, we have already seen them in their national costume, in club wear. We've watched some selfies that they have posted. We've listened to their answers to a question set by Eric Butter, the president and founder of Mr. Gay World. And we've heard why each one of them thought that he should be crowned. Oh, what an unbelievable task these judges have. To refresh your memories as to our judges, they are Eric Butter, president and founder for Mr. Gay World. Ruben van Niekerk, the owner and editor of Gay Pages magazine. Kuni Kukuk, practicing High Court attorney. Fran Alvarado, Mr. Gay World 2019. Stuart Hutton, is the winner of Mr. Gay World 2014. Leanne van Roy, much loved South African actress. Nicole Kapper, owner and co founder of Impact Hub. Mike Fisher, businessman and beauty consultant. Jacques Dutoy, one of SA's most colourful personalities. Edwin Reinery, owner and publisher of Wink magazine. Rudy Detoy from Rudy Detoy Photography. The judges have strict criteria and rules for voting. Each delegate is examined for his looks, which stands for reason, but more importantly for his charm, his intellect, awareness, self-esteem, his contribution to the LGBTQ plus community in particular and society in general was also taken in consideration. Each delegate had to submit videos on which they were adjudicated and they were all interviewed via Zoom. Now, this is all in accordance with Eric Butter's search for the ideal representative and mouthpiece, hence the use of the word delegate and not contestant. Yes, the moment has arrived. That moment that many, many, if not most of us, have been panting for. The delectable delegates in their swimwear. Mm. First up. Czech and Slovakia.
Mexico. Rico. South Africa. to Ian Ferreira Massain, Audit Manager from Mazars. Welcome Ian. Please do us the honor to announce the winner in the swimwear category. Thank you Erlen Altsby and the winner of the swimwear category is... Spain. Well deserved. Ian, while you're at it, can you present some more awards? Yes, please. And next up is the winner in Mr. Photogenic category. The judges has ruled that the most photogenic delegate is... Spain. Hats off to you. Ian, could you briefly just explain to us and the viewers how the online questionnaire was handled? Sure, the panel of judges sent in a list of questions which is sent to the delegates via online questionnaire and these questions are scored by the judges. Very interesting. I suppose this category has a winner too. Indeed, and the winner that excelled in this category is... Puerto Rico. Congratulations. The next award goes to the winner in a very special category, the Social Responsibility Campaign. Ian? 
the delegate that really shone in this category is Poland. Well done to all the winners and thank you Ian. Now before we return to said delegates from all over the world, let's pay tribute to our sponsors. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are the ones. It's the thrill of the drive. When last did you feel this alive? New Nissan Navara, made for your journey, rugged redefined. Welcome back to our viewers. Now, after the lip-smacking swimwear and the frivolities, I think it's time to move over to the formalities. Now, the judge's decision will be final and announced soon, but we still have to ogle the delegates in their evening, or if you will, formal wear. And by now, you do know the order in which they appear. Czech and Slovakia. India
South Africa. Man in formal wear. Mm-hmm. We have a winner in this category. Right, and the winner is Philippines. Ever so smart. And now is time to reveal our viewer's choice. Ah! The winner is... Philippines. Congratulations. And while he is basking in his glory, Let's pay homage to our sponsors again. We are, we are, we are, we are. We are the ones. Broad and deep expertise with the same definition of excellence. Local roots with an international vision. Around the world, an agile and personalized approach. What sets us apart brings you choice. Experience a different perspective across a range of audit, tax, and advisory services. Mazars. Welcome. Now, I wonder whether the judge's choice and the audience choice will correspond. But for that, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Though the suspense is as thick as... as... uh, golden syrup. syrup! We also have a winner in the social media presence category. Hey. My turn. The delegate who exceeded all others in this category is... Philippines. We would really like to involve you, the viewers, in this whole process. Please share your your viewpoints, your opinions, your experiences, pictures while watching by going to social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 
and do use the hashtag MrGayWorld2020. That is MrGayWorld2020. Now, we would love to hear from our brothers, sisters and relatives. What started out as an idea to promote the fact that we're all different in our lifestyles. We're all equal as human beings and now this is an annual celebration. I think we would like to hear from Chief in Charge, uh, the King of Mr. Gay World and Founder President, Mr. Eric Butter. Dear delegates, friends and supporters of the Mr. Gay World competition, as much as it makes me happy, to give this opening speech of our 12th edition of the Mr. Gabriel competition, we are living in unprecedented times and we must adapt and readjust. Last year, our world was turned upside down. Although it was tough, it forced us all to reassess what is most important in our lives. Now, last year would have been a time for change and adjustment, but this year it's time for opportunity. This year's competition is a completely whole new level. It's an opportunity to make our thoughts and dreams come true. Support each other and celebrate each other's successes. That is how here at Mr. Gay World, we want to see you grow and thrive and be the best that you can be. That is what makes us so proud and keeps this Mr. Gay World family together. On that note, I welcome you to our 12th edition of the Mr. Gay World competition. We have some entertainment for you. Sit back, relax, we shall see you afterwards. Enjoy. Hi guys, it's Casa Jackson here and I just wanted to wish all the contestants of this year's Mr. Gay World Festival a massive good luck. Lots and lots of love from me from rainy London. Very jealous of you lot. All the time that we spend, I do it over again without a doubt in my mind. You were so unafraid, and that's the reason I stayed, and you were one of a kind. Been feeling lately like the world owes me one, running circles around my mind with things I should have done. But all the while, your stupid love made sense of it all. Maybe that's the reason we made it. Looking back to where we began You were by my side when the world turned colder Even though there wasn't a plan It was all a mess, we were learning how to Taking scars in our stride You made me laugh when I cried I gave you somewhere to hide In the dead of the night With you, I've been feeling lately Like the world owes you one Running circles round your mind With things you could have done But all the while my stupid love Makes sense of it all Maybe that's the reason we made it Looking back to where we began
Now, amidst all of the happiness is also the sad, the tragic, and in memoriam to those we lost during the past year and more, the second verse of World War I gay poet Wilfred Owen's Anthem for Doomed Youth. What candles may be held to speed them all? Not in the hands of boys, but in their eyes shall shine the holy glimmer of goodbyes. The pallor of Bolsa's brows shall be their pall, their flowers the tenderness of patient minds, and each slow dusk a drawing down of blinds. A fond farewell. Oh, now back to business. The judges have done another round of questions and narrowed the delegates down to the top five. Ian, will you announce them in country alphabetical order? Sure. And your first delegate in the top five is... Mexico! The second delegate to make it to the top five is... Philippines! Your third delegate for the top five is... Poland! Thank you so much. This is wonderful news. I never thought I'm gonna be top five. In the world where you can be anything, just be kind. The fourth delegate to make it to the top five is... Puerto Rico. And your final delegate for the top five is... South Africa. During the Zoom interviews, our delegates had to answer questions for which they couldn't prepare. They also did not know which one of the judges had asked the question. Therefore, we have our top five at the ready. And now for your top five question. What three qualities do you possess that makes you a successful Mr. Gay World? The first quality that I have is empathy. I do have like empathy for all the situations that we face, not only for the gay community, but lesbian community, transgender community, because we share some situations and some issues. But also I recognize that we have differences and, and, I, and I know that. The second uh, quality that I have is that I have awareness about many situations. As I mentioned, I know that women suffer certain situations, the LGBTQ plus community suffer certain situations. But I'm, I'm aware that around the world, not only because I'm okay or I'm good with something, that means that everyone is okay. And that's why my social project is about, it's called Break the Bubble, because I like to break those bubbles, you know, and create awareness in people. And that's a, a, another thing that I like. And the third one, even though sometimes it's not like as good because I'm a hardworking person. So I always like to work and not only work for myself, but work for helping others. And that's what motivated me, you know, to, to be some volunteer in volunteering activities as ambassadors in my, in my university. So I think that uh, those are the three qualities that not only make me like a good candidate for being Mr. Gay World, but also make me just a good candidate for conducting my life and helping others okay. like throughout my, my whole life. What three qualities do you possess that makes you a successful Mr. Gay World? I think the three qualities that I possess uh, that makes me a successful gay world is first is having the grit, having the courage to, you know, adapt to the changes of our current world situation as well as in the LGBTQ plus community. Second is having the heart, having the heart to reach out to everyone in our community and really understand what they need so that we can progress as one community. And third is having the mind, the right mindset, that once you become a Mr. Gay World, 
you are going to be taking the full responsibility of being the voice of a marginalized community, the LGBTQ plus community that needs to be visible, that needs to be seen by the world. And and having grit um, and a heart and also the right mindset can make a great Mr. Gay World. What three qualities do you possess that makes you a successful Mr. Gay World? The first quality is to listen. I listen to people because I take on board what they say. The second question, I love people and I love to be surrounded around good and positive people. The third, probably world which will describe me is humble. I will never, never, I will never, I will always step on the ground. What three qualities do you possess that makes you a successful Mr. Gay World? I would start with humble. When you're humble, it gives you the opportunity to connect with others without mattering the um, social um, level, the race, or where you come from as well. And following on humble, I would say I'm honest because it gives me the opportunity to connect with others and as with organization as well with transparency and this way i can make an impact with the organization and to social um platforms as well and for last i would say resilient us puerto rican we identify ourselves as resilient people because we turn every bad aspect of life into a learning journey so i think that would make me an excellent example to make an impact with others teaching them that bad things in life doesn't mean it's over mm -hmm. you can construct your journey and be a better person with these experiences as well what three qualities do you possess that makes you a successful mr gay world i believe three qualities that i possess that make me a successful mr gay world is i am honest I am relatable and what you see is what you get. I believe that none of us are perfect and none of us um, have n no flaws, not made mistakes, but I believe that by expressing those mistakes and learning from them and picking yourself up and showing the community that no matter what happens in your life, no matter what obstacles you face or how you fall, it's how you get up from it and show the rest of the community doesn't matter where you come from, the mistakes you've made, it's about what you're trying to do and where you're going in life. And I believe those are qualities within myself that I believe should make a Mr. Gay world that would drive unity and change within our community. The old song goes, what shall we do with a drunken sailor? But what would we do and where would we be without our sponsors? Here are some more.
and a heartfelt thank you from all of us to our sponsors. And welcome back to you, our viewers. Alas, there is always another sad note at this stage of the event. Here to give his farewell speech to us is the winner of Mr. Gay World 2019, Jean Jep Carlos from the Philippines. Times have changed. The world is now spinning in a different direction. But the gay empowerment has become more stronger and humanity is closer than ever. Although my reign is about to end, I am always humbled with this title and used it to promote my advocacy towards mental health. Being Mr. Gay World 2019 gave me so much opportunities. I was able to travel the world and met the biggest LGBT organization and was able to do amazing collaborations with them. I would like to thank my national director, Mr. Wilbert Tolentino, who has always been a great mentor, supporter, and a visionary. And to Mr. Eric Butter and the whole Mr. Gay World organization, thank you for providing gay men a platform to showcase the essence of this competition. And to the next Mr. Gay World 2020, continue the legacy and share its cause to the world. You have a big job and responsibility to do. Be the beacon of hope to the community. Again, this is Janjit Parlos, your Mr. Gay World 2019. Thank you. From the top five, it's time to announce the second runner-up. Now, I have the honor and privilege to announce the second runner-up for the Mr. Gay World 2020. Da, 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 da. And the second runner up is Mexico. Congratulations. The first runner up will take over the role of Mr. Gay World if the winner of Mr. Gay World 2020 cannot fulfill his duties. The first runner-up is... Ah, ah. Ah! <laughs> Poland! Now is the hour we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Almost two years. Now, the delegates were requested to record an acceptance speech in case they win the crown. And the title for Mr. Gay World 2020 goes to... Philippines! What a blessing. Congratulations, Philippines. We did it. So, um, I feel so overwhelmed with love join so much gratitude right now so please uh, let me take this opportunity to thank everyone has been a part of this beautiful journey of a lifetime thank you so much to mr eric butter and the rest of the mr gay world organization as well as our accomplished and great judges for choosing me as your mr gay world 2020. i feel so grateful and will forever be thankful for this wonderful opportunity of becoming mr gay world and, um, you know, I can't wait to make a change in the lives of the LGBTQ plus in the world together with this beautiful organization. To our icon, the Mr. Gay World Philippines Organization National Director, Mr. Wilbur Tolentino, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for being a bridge of making this dream of mine come true. I appreciate all your kindness, generosity, and all your support. Thank you for being everybody's fairy godmother by making all of our dreams come true. To all the great people who are behind the Mr. Gay World Philippines organization, Kuya Ryan Sato, Kuya Ken Fabroa, the Fahrenheit Club, that's the home of the Mr. Gay World Philippines pageant. Thank you so much for all the love. To the best mentors in the Philippine pageant industry, Inang Rogel Flores of the Kadandahan Flores Camp, for diligently helping me to prepare for this competition. Thank you so much, Inam. 
to the rest of the great KF team, Kuya Gio Flores, Kuya Enan, Tita Jess, Mami Moy, and Kuya Migs. Thank you so much for all the trainings that you have given me. Love you all. To all my relatives, friends, and online supporters who were with me in this journey, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. Also, big, huge, fat thank you to my parents, Gemma Tibor, Raylan Sigmi, Leo Makayan, and Jocelyn Kanyeti for all the support. To my ever so supportive chosen family, my core team, Victor Mariano, Gerald Yao, and Amber Salimbay. Thank you, thank you so much for taking this journey with me. I appreciate all your support since day one. To my partner Daniel who never left my side and for giving me all the love and push to bring out the best in me, as well as his family, Mama Del, Papa Albin, um, Ate Jen and Ate Helen from Japan as well as Papa O, thank you, thank you so much for all the support, arigato gozaimasu. And to my fellow brothers and sisters in the LGBTQ plus community here in the Philippines and across the world, I share this success with you. It is not to achieve fame or attention that motivated me to win the crown. I am here because of my vision, and that is to help build an inclusive world for the LGBTQ plus members. Help give us a better life by ending hate and prejudice towards us and help break the walls that divide us from the world. Now, I can finally use the Mr. Gay World Organization's platform to pursue my mission, and that is to educate everyone about the vital role that we play in everybody's life in the world. Through the Mr. Gay World platform, we can help raise awareness about the importance of practicing inclusivity to make this world a better place for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer, gender fluid and everyone in between together with the heterosexual people here in this world. For everyone who keeps on keeping on and keeps on fighting. For everyone who never gives up. Those who believe in the power of dreams and will never stop until they turn their dreams into reality. This victory is for you. And to all the little gay kids or queer kids in the world that are the hope of our next generation and that may be afraid to come out. I hope that my journey inspires you to dream big and live the best life that you deserve when you grow up. Be proud, as you have nothing to hide because you were born to shine in your true colors. And when the world tells you that being LGBTQ plus is a weakness, rise up and prove them wrong because being gay is our superpower. And always remember these three things, grit, heart, and the right mindset can always take you to success. Thank you. Maraming salamat po. Wow, 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 wow. All the best and to you, our viewers, whether you're gay, straight, lesbian, bi, non-binary, trans, or just simply a human being, all the best to you. And thank you so much for joining us. And if you were watching with friends and you have to drive home, be safe, stay safe. Mask up and sanitize. We shall see you right here again when we crown Mr. Gay World 2021. Bye. We're just holding it together. It's slowly getting better. Nights are getting longer and we're still searching for a way.